Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be doing some towing for our tool company, Ace Towing and Recovery. We're going to be taking out the big boy today, the heavy duty wrecker, the rotator. It's been a while since we took out this truck. I actually haven't did a tow video in so long. You guys have been asking me to do one, so I figured we have to come out and do something big today. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this episode started. As always, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. We're going to Get ready to roll out from the shop. Now this call is going to be pretty interesting. It's actually a police call, but the crazy thing is it's a police mobile command unit that crashed. So we're going to respond, try to flip it over and then bring it back. I don't know if we're probably not going to bring it back to our shop. We'll ask them and see where they want us to take it. Most likely they're going to take it back to their storage facility. Now we do have a heavy wrecker on scene already. There was a little bit of a confusion when they first called it in. They just said they crashed. They didn't mention that they completely rolled over the truck. So at first we dispatched a heavy wrecker. But once my other operator got on scene, he confirmed that we are going to need the rotator for this call. All right, we're going to be on scene. Looks like the police have a lane shut down. I'm going to park here so we can just figure out what we're going to do. We're probably going to have to stop traffic for this call since there's not much room to work with here. All right, what we got? It looks like we got a uh, mobile command center, dual rear axles. And this thing is sitting on its side. Looks like it got some damage to the top too and it rolled over. It must have hit pretty hard to crush in both sides like that. Alright, um This should be a pretty straightforward recovery, just basically flipping it over and dropping it. Now we could try to do this by not using a lane, but I think we're gonna actually have to shut down the second lane and use it now the good thing is since the truck is on its side we might as well go ahead and pull the uh drive shaft from now all right let's let's get working on this truck go ahead and start pulling the drive shaft i'll get my truck into position i'll let the officers know what our plan is where's our chase oh they're down there who they trying to pull over Who are they chasing? I think they're, were they chasing that truck? I don't know. I'm just going to delete them. All right. So while he's working on the, let me let the officer know what our plan is going to be. Hey, so how you doing? We're going to have to shut down this lane for a little while. Uh, I'm going to get my truck into position and we're probably going to have to shut it down in about five minutes or so. All right. Cool. Thanks. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Road is shut down. We're going to put our truck into position. All right, got our truck into position, so we're gonna run chains to the top to try to catch it as it's coming around. And I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna just kind of run a line to our outrigger here and then kind of run up to here so that that way we can pull down on these axles, pull them down, and that's gonna basically do the flipping and then we'll use the top piece to do the catching. Doing our final checks, we have that line ran off of the outrigger. We got the other lines up top. 
We also ran an extra line to this wrecker. We probably don't need it, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, uh, yeah, let's try to flip this thing over now. Perfect. Okay. So we got it to flip over. It's back on its wheels. Let's take a look at the damage. Pretty simple rollover. Alright. So we got it. Not too much damage to this, thankfully, too. So now we're going to go ahead and hook up to it and tow it away. I'm thinking we're going to use uh, this heavy wreck over here. So we'll use heavy four for this one since we haven't used that truck in a long time. So let's get all of these lines disconnected and we'll get this thing ready to be towed. All right. We have, we have traffic opened up. So all we have to do now is hook up to this truck and we can get out of here. I'll let you take the rotator back to the shop. I'm going to drop this one off at the police station. There's plenty of space for you to go around, sir. Alright, we have everything hooked and ready to go. We got the safety chains, breakaway chains. We disconnected the drive shaft already. Got the wireless light bar on the back. Alright, this thing is ready to be towed. So I'm going to clear the scene and we're going to do some towing now. Oh my goodness, we're about to flip it over again. Yeah, that would be terrible. After all that work, it flips over. Alright, so we gotta go into the port and then out of the port. It's gonna be kind of tight with this, actually. I'm probably gonna have to lower it down, too. Whoa! Oh, it's higher than it really looks. <laughs> I was just about to say, alright, we made it. So what happened back there was the satellite like this on the top, it must have a collision that's like bigger than it really is. And it was causing, oh my goodness, causing it to hit the top of the... Alright, I see why this thing flipped over. I mean, even towing it, it wants to flip over the collisions or something. We only got about a mile and a half to go, but I don't know if we're going to make it. Looks like the ELS file, I may be using the wrong one or something because it's making that uh, prop there on the top right keep popping up and going away. Sorry about that. All right, guys, so I had to switch up the plan. I put it onto a low boy because no matter what I used to tow this thing, it just kept going crazy. Like it was flipping off. It was going crazy. It was making me crash. It was just going crazy. Honestly, if you guys want to see it, I'll post it on my ch my second channel. It's called Ace on Demand. That's a clip for highlights and funny moments, which is exactly what that was. It was a failure. It was a funny moment. If you guys want to check that out, head over to my second channel, Ace on Demand, and you guys will see it over there. I'll link it in the top right too. But anyway, uh, we got it ready to
to go. It's up on the low boy. It kind of doesn't fit, but we're going to just say if it fits, it ships. So we have that thing chained down and we are ready to go. We're going to hop into the Kenworth and tow this the rest of the way. Now, I literally tried every single tow truck I had in our fleet, and no matter what, it just kept glitching out. So I was like, you know what? It's probably just the mobile command center, a collision, or something on it is making it act crazy. Now, can we get out of here? I feel like we're going to be too high. So what we're going to do, there's a not really an exit over here, but there's a way we can get out over here. All right, so now that we're finally out of the port, we can go make this uh, this drop off. All right, we made it to the police station. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky getting this thing in there. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to back up because once we go in there, there's really no way for us to come out if we try to pull in. So here we go. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. Oh my god, really? What are you doing? Just wait one second, please. Yeah, traffic is the worst. And now I'm about to get hit by this truck. Come on, don't hit me. Come on, not Ace Construction. Ace Construction can't hit us. Please don't hit us. All right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it any further than this. I'm going to try to see if I could t turn it, but there's not really much room here. If I pull for it over here, I may be able to get it to cut enough. I feel like I'm about to get myself stuck. Look, at, I'm on these poles right now. I'm about to get stuck. Oh, come on, come on. Don't get stuck. Dang, I scratched on my truck so much trying to get in here, but we're in here though.
All right, let's get this thing unloaded. It's not even going to fit in here because of the garage door. If I could just open up a little bit more, that would be perfect. So instead, I guess I'll just park it up over here and they could figure out what they want to do with it from there. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, check out my brand new channel. It's called Ace on Demand. Go show it some love. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And let me know, guys, what would you like to see me do in the next video as well? And um, yeah, one more thing, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. You guys can find all of the mods I use and tutorials on how to install them on my website. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.